What's up, guys? It's Double Nix, and today I'm going to be talking about ticker symbol SBEV. I'll say it again SBEV, also known as Splash Beverage Group Inc. Now, normally I don't talk about New York Stock Exchange stocks, but today is an exception. Now, for those of you who don't know, SBEV was actually formerly called Canfield Med Supply Inc. until they changed it to Splash Beverage Group Inc. on July of 2020. All right, so let's get down into it. Splash Beverage Group, also known as SBEV or SBG if you want to call it that, specializes in manufacturing distribution, and sales and marketing of various beverages across multiple channels. SBG operates in both the non-alcoholic and alcoholic beverage segments, which we believe leverages our efficiencies and dilutes risk. SBG believes its business model is unique as it only develops and or accelerates brands it perceives to have highly visible pre-existing brand awareness or pure category innovation. Additionally, SBG Operations has its own vertically integrated B2B and B2C e-commerce distribution platform called Qplash, further expanding its distribution abilities and visibility. Now, as far as their float is concerned, uh, it hasn't really been updated as of late. The last time the float was updated was on March 25th, 2021. So you guys are going to have to take this float with a grain of salt. I'm not not entirely sure what it is now. I have a feeling it didn't change too much, but if it did, it's probably still low. So the float as of March 2021 is 9,795,125, which is a very low float. Now again, it could have changed throughout time. It could have gotten higher. It could have gotten lower. I don't necessarily know, but Right here, what I'm looking at, it seems like it's a low float stock. Now, recently, these guys have been making a lot of moves throughout last month, the month before, and this month. For example, they struck a deal to send their wine and energy brands through AB1, which is basically a network that markets from New York to California. So they're marketing their wine brands all over the country, pretty much. And then on December 15th, what they did was they added a digital communication provider known as Tra Digital IR. And then fast forward to this month, they actually got their hands on tap out brands. And now they're basically receiving authorization to distribute their tap out brands performance drink in Florida metropolitan areas. Now, I have a big history with tap out brands. And now for those of you who have heard of tap out brands, you probably have seen them in the UFC or if you're in the martial arts world, you know that tap out brands is a very big name. I personally know that tap out brands is a very big name in the martial arts world like because I've used them in the past. I've used their punching bags, their kicking shields, I've used their their punching pads, I've used their boxing gloves, I've used their martial arts gloves. I basically have used almost everything. Now, I'm actually surprised because they actually made a beverage brand for tap out brands, which is very interesting. I remember when I was younger, I would train martial arts with my father, and what happened was we would go to a store and always buy tap out brand stuff because they always made good quality martial arts equipment. Uh, I even had certain sparring equipment and sparring pads that I used when I was younger. And they were just good memories all around because their equipment lasted a very long time. Now, Tap Out Brands also makes or at least they made apparel like, you know, clothing. They made pants. They made martial arts and kickboxing gear. They've made certain duffel bags, I remember. I mean, they've made a lot of stuff, and now they're going out of their way to make a beverage brand, which I really want to try now. <laughs> and they've also had a couple of gyms all around the country, which is very interesting to me because I didn't even know they had a gym. I didn't know this until I actually looked into SBEV and 
it's insane because Tap Out Brands is a very big name. Now, they obviously have their own drinks now. So they have their cherry lemonade. They got their orange. They got their citrus. And my God, I really want to try this drink. But back to Esbev. So Esbev actually received authorization for Tap Out Brands beverages to be distributed throughout Florida metropolitan areas. So that would be like Fort Lauderdale, Miami, places like that. And they've been signing these deals with Walmart. Walmart's a big company. That's a big, big, big grocery store. And it's crazy because Walmart's all over the place. If you live in Florida, there's a lot of Walmarts here. There's like an ungodly amount of Walmarts, but I digress. The Walmarts down here are, there's a lot of them. There's so many. So they're going to be distributing and beginning with distributing their tap out performance drink with 47 Walmart stores located in major metropolitan regions in Florida, which is big. That's just a couple. And they said in this article that they're beginning with just 47 Walmart stores. They never said anything about stopping. No, no, they're going to just start with 47 and chances are good from what this implies. They're going to keep expanding throughout Florida. They've also been in Arkansas, California, like I told you earlier, New York, and uh, other various parts of the country. This is pretty big because these guys have actually worked with big brand names like Tap Out, and they're signing big deals with Walmart. They also own another drink called Popo Loco. Now, Pulpo Loco is actually, uh, if you don't know what that means, and I don't know, I could be reading this wrong, but Pulpo means octopus in Spanish, and Loco means crazy in Spanish, so they're selling octopus crazy. Anyways, little joke. Anyway, <laughs> they've actually been selling Pulpo Loco in 187 Ralph's grocery stores throughout Southern California, which is actually very interesting. So these guys are selling a variety of different drinks in their portfolio to various parts of the country. And they even recently announced that their tap out brands drinks will be distributed through Arkansas based central distributors, which is um, insane. The fact that they're going through with this and actually buying and actually distributing these amazing drinks, one of which I would really like to try throughout Florida, Arkansas, and areas from the East Coast to the West Coast are insane. It's crazy. They even signed a distribution agreement with D. Bertoline and Sons in New York for all Splash brands, meaning all of their brand beverages are going to be distributed in New York, from what this is telling me, in D. Bertoline and Sons. So these guys are making some major moves. I mean, this came out on the 27th, which was a couple of days ago. This came out on the 25th, which was a couple of days ago. This came out on the 19th. Again, all this news came out this month. And then they are even coming out with news in December. They came out with news in November. They're basically consistently putting out news. And it's not little news. It's big news. And these guys aren't signing on with small potatoes. These guys are signing on with... Walmart. These guys are signing on with Goliaths. And it's insane to see. They've been making lots of moves, and I personally think that they're going to go up, that their price is going to go through the roof for their stock. Now, please note, guys, I am not a stock professional. I'm not a stock advisor. And please, please, please do your own due diligence. I'm not a professional. So that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell icon to stay notified when new videos are uploaded. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I got my links in the description. I got Facebook. I got Instagram. I got YouTube. Obviously, I got YouTube. And I got Twitter, where I can consistently remind you guys of videos that I'm doing or things that I might be doing in the future, etc. Also, check out my Discord. Links are in the description down below for my Discord, as well as my other social media platforms. And that's pretty much it for me. It's Double Nix. I love you guys. I love you. And I'm out. Peace. Bye.